there, the car is packed away again. All the bikes are in the car and I start heading up north. Not sure how far north we're going to go yet. I have to wait and see. Always wanted to go to Lapland, but uh, let's see how it goes. I'll drive in the car today and head north. But uh, leaving this nice town like we're in the south of France here at the moment. Not everyone away north. Not sure how far north, but this is what it's like. Driving in Sweden, it's just forests and lakes, forest, forest and there's a lake, and there'll be a forest and a lake, and another forest and another lake. We just turned up here, on campsite, not far from the town of Mora. And about 450 kilometers north of where we started this morning. So now we're on the way to northern Sweden, maybe even Lapland, who knows? Let's see how it goes. So these are the pizzas we heard about or read about on Google. So we're just trying the reindeer pizza. And berries. With berries, yes. So it's really Swedish pizza. So that's what we're doing this evening. That's the reason why we came to this campsite. <laughs> and the view is quite nice as well. Good morning, and now we are just eating our breakfast. And um, this is a ski resort and a camping site. So in the winter time, you can ski in this area, and then you can stay in these nice huts. And uh, there's a sauna over here, and uh, it's a very nice camping site. Okay, so we just made a plan. We've been having our breakfast here, so uh now we decided we're going to drive all the way up to Lapland. It's about 1,000 kilometers from here to a place with the, called the Sarik National Park. And the, uh, the Sarik National Park, this is one of the last wilderness areas left in Europe, so that'll be good to see. Oh, this town Mora, this is known for a famous ski race, cross-country skiing, 90 kilometers. Starts here in Berger and finishes here in Mora. You actually see there is the uh, finish. Uh, like 1922 was when the first the first race was. So that's uh, 100 years ago next year. <laughs> give it a go see if we can get to Lapland so uh, tomorrow we'll be back in the car nice and early see if it's possible to get there all the way to the north of Sweden and Lapland okay see you on the road tomorrow <laughs> after eight hours driving today we now just crossed the border to southern Lapland <laughs> finally we made it to Lapland <laughs> But it's a long way to go until we get to Sarek National Park. So after a long day in the car, we actually arrived in Lapland. We're staying in this uh, campsite here, resort, by a place where people actually come up here to see the northern lights. So yeah, so we're here now. We'll, uh, Something get something to eat and get the tent up and uh, yeah, show you around this place here. Yeah. I think that J Jamie's just spotted it, a few wolves over there, so we'll go and have a look at that. Now Jamie's been eating about three, four times now, eating all the food. Look at this place here. These are the kind of places I like finding. So today we made it to the southern part of Lapland. So a long day in the car, but we managed to get here. Um, this campsite is about 10 years old. There's a lake behind me there. He's uh, usually frozen for about six months of the year. And in the winter time here, it's an average of 10 to uh, 25 degrees minus. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty cold place and deep snow they have here for most of the winter. I actually had a record of minus 35 here. So uh, but, uh, tomorrow we're back in the car, 
heading we've got another 300 kilometers to go until we get to a place where i think we're going to leave the car behind and then cycle into the sarik national park that's the rough plan so uh, we'll see how it goes what we uh, decide to do tomorrow but uh yeah we'll have a, a rest and uh up early again tomorrow in the car and we'll continue driving through lapland okay good morning we're back on the road again nice and early today has uh, spotted this church here in Yokmuk. It's a wooden church called the New Church. Not sure how old it is, but go and have a look and find out. Looks like quite nice. We're now in the town of Yokmuk here. So we uh, look at the church here, get some supplies, and then we'll be heading off into the Surik National Park. But let's uh, go and have a look at the church here. This is the mountain lodge at the end of the Kungsleden Trail. This is a trail that goes through the national parks here. 40 days I think it takes to walk through the trail. Okay, this is tonight's camping spot. Not well camping, it's actually a real campsite. But uh, this is what a real campsite looks like in the Sarik National Park in Upland. Pretty uh, cool place. And we've got this uh, space for a tent here. We can uh, sit there and have dinner. Uh, just over there, there's some other people camping there. So, uh, great spot here. And this is what motorhomes look like to travel around. They look more like military trucks than uh, motor campers. But, uh, yeah machines. I think it's very good to uh, try some, try uh, the wild camping again because now we just have some a few days where we have been like on, on a nice camping site and and uh, good food and pizza and all these restaurants and now it's good to come out in the wild again. Mm -hmm. Back to work in Chili Con Carne here. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> With the view. Now it's evening and now we have just, I have just uh, set fire to this fireplace now. So now it's very beautiful to see the fire. And mom and dad, they just tidying up. Yes.
So that was the end of, what, uh, three days in the car since we left uh, Smurgen, heading north here, um, to the north of Sweden. But, uh, even though, uh, yeah, mainly we've been just looking at trees and uh, trees and lakes what, for three days now, the view doesn't uh, change too much and uh, you can only do about 80 or 90 kilometers an hour, but uh, apart from, but uh, saying that, it hasn't been a boring trip at all, it's been quite interesting. Um, We've enjoyed it, just cruising along nice and easy, not too much traffic, I mean, plenty of places to stop on the way and if you need a, a break or some lunch or nice campsites on the way, so it's uh, it's been a good trip. It's been a, a place I've been looking at on the map for a few years, so please, yeah, we uh, made the decision to give it a go and yeah, it wasn't too bad, we managed to get here without any problems. So now we're here, I think the plan is we've only got a few days here, or well, four, four or five days we're going to spend here in Lapland. Well, tomorrow we'll take a day with the hiking boots on and we'll do a bit of a walk up one of the mountains here uh, one day trip and back down again and then uh, the day after we're going to be moving on into another valley into another national park and maybe i think we'll be able to have about two days biking in there we can bike in and bike out can't really do a, a round circular tour just uh, the roads aren't too well connected up here it's best for for hiking or with a boat crossing the lakes it's just a mosquito. <laughs> so we'll uh, go and have a rest in the tent now after three days of driving and look forward to a bit of exercise now. I think we need it to get out of the car for a bit of hiking tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Reserve starts, and obviously, then the, this is not no, nature. No, no. The nature park is the on this side. Yeah. Yes. I have a lot of nature reserves. It's good to have a sign because otherwise yeah. we wouldn't know. No, we wouldn't know. We all said it was way past time.